high for professional, which is several times higher. Practically, if you if you if you watched our um, training videos, we're talking about now professional devices on the on the heads of these devices, on the cartridges of these devices. It's mostly again, mostly it depends on the on the design of the. In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between the HIFO Professional and the HIFO for home use. Now, first of all, you've got to look at the physics of HIFO to understand what it is, and we've got information and videos on our channel as well uh, as on our website about that. But in this video, we're going to focus mainly on the difference between the two because there's professional HIFOs, that is, those HIFOs used by cosmetic clinics, and home use HIFOs, and we're going to focus about that. So, first of all, we're going to talk about the professional, which is something that you've seen before and there are many training videos, and then we're going to talk about the HIFO for home use, and we're going to look at the difference. The main difference between the HIFO professional and the HIFU for home use is mainly in the power and how that power is distributed over time. So, what do we mean by that? Say, in the professional HIFUs, the power is delivered over a very short period of time. So, let's say this is the time frame and this is the power um, in the y axis. So, in the x axis, we've got time and in the y-axis we've got the power. What happens is that in the professional we've got a spike of energy which is very very high which is so high that it can actually cause dents into the perspex which you've seen in other videos and this happens, the spike in power happens over a very short period of time in the region of a few milliseconds. It is almost as if you are using an elastic band and you're re you are releasing the band onto your skin, sort of, but actually gets into your skin because as we know, the HIFO gets inside your skin and it doesn't touch the layers that are above that targeted uh, depth or below that targeted depth. So it is as if you're actually firing a, uh, an elastic band in there in terms of that spike of energy, which is again over a very, very tiny duration of time in the region of milliseconds, but over that very short duration is extremely high. So high that it causes dense, dense, real dense, um, a deformation um, onto the perspex. So um, this is how the HIFO works, the professional HIFO works. It doesn't matter whether it is for face, for body, or for vaginal tightening or vaginal rejuvenation. The basic principle is the same. As to say, once again, a high spike of energy within a very, very short duration of time in the region of very few milliseconds. So that is what a professional HIFO does. And why does it do it that way? The reason is, from a technical point of view, we've got to design a device that delivers a lot of power, and the only way to do it is just by concentrating that, that power within a very short time frame. And therefore, only that way we're able to release that intense power. And as we know, if you watched our training videos, these devices are classed as professional just because, and mainly because, the, um, the energy is very, very high. And we can compare the HIFO professional in the way they operate, as you say, this very short burst of uh, energy, this very short release of high energy within a very, very short period of time in the region of a milliseconds or a few milliseconds, pardon me, a few milliseconds, to Q-switched lasers. 
Now, the difference between Q-switched lasers and professional HIFO is profound because the physics is completely different. So the two of them, in terms of physics, what they produce is completely different. One produces, in the case of lasers, Q-switched lasers, they produce light of high intensity with a very short duration of time. In terms of HIFO, I've got a very high intensity within a very short short duration of time of ultrasonic energy which is very 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 focused so the physics are very different however the way they operate in the time frame and the power is very very similar because if you've actually studied q switch lasers and you look at the power versus time you find a very very similar characteristic very 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 similar so you've got high spike in energy and a very in a very very short duration of time which is very correct so basically they're almost quite the same in terms of the way they operate and again I'll just repeat again if you imagine the elastic band this is what uh, this is how you can actually compare it again this is if you're actually uh, placing an elastic band you are tightening it you're actually flexing it and then bang you're letting it go and there bang when it goes and hits the surface of whatever the energy is very very high um, over a very very short duration of time so this is the the way that high for professional work and they work that way because this is the only way that we know that we can actually release the high power which is required for this professional treatments within a very short within um, a very short duration of time is the only way that we know in order to um, to have these devices to release that much energy that is to say we focus the energy within a very short time frame and we fire it that's the only way we know about that so we talked about how the high for professional work in the time frame as to say in the time and power frame as to say a high uh, power within a very short duration of time is in the region of a few milliseconds. The main difference is that when you're using a home uh, device, a high full home device, is that that energy is far, far less than the energy released by the high full professional, which is several times higher. However, um, they can, that energy can actually be re released constantly, again, constantly over time. As I say, you do not have these spikes of energy, you've got constant power release. And we cannot describe, we'll, we'll try to describe the, the difference between when you actually um, use the two types of, um, of devices. When you are um, using a professional device, what the um, client feels is quite um, a good degree of pain, but is actually short and focused within a cer certain point and a very short duration in time, and is extremely, extremely excruciating if you're actually using it at medium or high power level. It's actually impossible to bear such a pain, so impossible that for several years, several years, the HIFO professionals have been used with anesthetics, injectable anesthetics, injectable uh, lidocaine to, to, to make that area completely pain free so you, um, the, um, the professionals would actually fire that energy uh, to the highest possible levels in order, that, in order to cause the most damage inside the skin and that damage would cause collagen regeneration collagen regeneration again now in case of home devices the energy is much lower and is spread almost continuously over time well, what that means is that when you place that um, cartridge on your skin with the um, gel you feel actually uh, it's not as much as heat it's actual pain and that pain is as high, is higher, um, as high, uh, the higher the, the, the power level and the higher the, the time frame that you keep that cartridge on the same point on the skin, 
the higher the power level, the, the higher the, uh, the pain and therefore the more unbearable it becomes. So basically, the way you treat the skin using home uh, devices, by, uh, devices is by placing that cartridge, we're just going to use one as, a, as an example here. Let's say this one, which is a, of, a, of a home use device. You place it onto the skin. I'm, o I'm only using the palm of my hand just as an example. You wouldn't use it there anyway. Let's assume this is the belly, for example, or the face, whatever. You place it there and actually you move it continuously. Continuously. Actually, if I can actually show it. So basically, if you, if you watched our um, training videos of the professional devices, what you find is that we place the cartridge on the skin, we fire a shot and then move it by one millimeter or so. But what? But with the home devices, what you do is just you place it on the skin with the uh, with the gel and you move it continuously up and down. Because if you keep it at the same point, it the pain becomes excruciating. And therefore, the modal the modality of treatment is very different. So the, the, the good thing about the, um, we're going to talk about the good things about the home devices, the good things about the um, professional devices in a second. But basically the way you operate the two devices is very different and the amount of damage that you can cause with home devices is very, very little. Especially because the power that you've got is very, very low and it will not cause any damage because you don't have the spikes of energy and you must, you, you actually must move the cartridge all the time in order to perform the treatment because if you keep it at one point, it becomes too painful. Say for example, if you keep it still for one second, oh God, it's too painful. So the modality of treatment is very, very different. Now we're going to talk about the difference between um, the advantages and disadvantages of each one of them. So, we're talking about now professional devices, the professional HIFOs, and we're going to talk about what is good and what is bad about them. Now, with professional devices, as we've seen, they are, they, we have very high bursts of ultrasound focused energy. Again, as we talked about before, it's like having an elastic band fired onto your, inside, directly inside your skin. Um, it's like that, but even much more painful, uh, much more effective, to be fair. Um, the energy is so high that it causes densities, dents onto the perspex. As we'll see shortly, um, uh, I'll, I will talk about it shortly. If we do the same experiment with a home device, with a home use device with a home high for home device they will not cause any dents and we cannot show you um, that test on a video because when you put a home high for device onto the perspex what you feel is the heat at that um, on the other side of the perspex you do not actually see any dents onto the perspex so the energy the burst of energy on the professional devices is so high as you know, if you watched our training videos, cause dents onto the perspex. The power is several times several times higher than the um, the power that you get from home devices from from HIFO home devices. Several times higher. You cannot compare the two. Um, if you used the these devices, these professional devices, a medium of high power uh, level, you can only use them practically if you use injectable anesthetics. Um, there's no other way because it's so, uh, so powerful, these devices are so powerful that they destroy tissue um, like no other. So, um, and as they do that, obviously they cause intense pain. And if you want to use a medium of high power, these devices must be used with injectable anesthetics. Even the topical anesthetics, the best topical anesthetics can fail to be as effective as required because these devices cause uh, controlled injuries 
inside the skin as you've seen in our um, other videos. Then a disadvantage is that in all these devices that are for professional use, the cartridges are your consumables. Normally, these professional HIFO devices come with cartridges that have got, that have got a finite, finite number of lines or shots. Um, in the case, for example, HIFO Classic is number of shots. Um, you can actually watch uh, all our training videos on that. But basically, you can have either 5,000 or 10,000 10, shots per cartridge. And once the shots are gone, you have to buy a new cartridge. Then you've got the maintenance on these devices. Um, you've got to replace the, the water every now and then on these devices, on the, on the heads of these devices, on the cartridges of these devices. Um, so these two things are the, the downsides of these devices. Now we're going to talk about uh, what happens in the HIFO for home use. Now, the main difference is that we have in HIFO for home use, we don't have the burst of energy as we've got in the HIFO for uh, professional use, but the power is continuous. It's continuous over time. You actually switch it on and the focus power is always being emitted by the device. The treatment is much more tolerable. So you don't need anesthetics or anything of the sort. And since the power is much lower and is spread uh, all throughout, um, continuously throughout time, it does not cause the same degree of damage that the professional HIFOs do, do. Basically, if you place the cartridge onto a piece of Perspex, you do not see with the HIFO devices, with the HIFOs for home use devices, you do not see any dents. If you, if you keep the cartridge on the same spot, on the Perspex, see whether we don't have a piece of Perspex here, unfortunately. On the Perspex, if you keep it for long enough, what's going to happen is that the uh, Perspex will heat up. And it, when you touch it, then you'll find, you'll actually feel the heat. Um, the other advantage, and this is actually depends on the device that you use, the, the home device that you use is that um, they're virtually for infinite use. The, there's not, uh, for many devices of the sort, there's no um, end use of the device, there's no end use of cartridges. As I said, the cartridges can fire as long as you want. Um, from a design point of view is that because the power is not so high, the transducer have got very long time, um, can be used over a long, long time, and it's quite unlikely to, um, to be, be damaged by the, its, uh, its continuous, continued used, use over time. So virtually you buy a cartridge or the device comes with the cartridges and you can use them for um, almost, almost indefinitely indefinitely so there's no there's virtually for some of these devices for home use there's no um, there's no consumables mostly they don't require any maintenance and mostly again mostly it depends on the on the design of the particular um, device for home use they don't even require any water replacement like is required for the devices for um, professional use. So hopefully this video has been useful and should you require any more information, feel free to get in touch with us. And just as a reminder of the destructive power, the amazing power of professional devices, we're gonna leave you with a standard Perspex, Perspex test using one of our professional HIFOs. And again, this Perspex tests apply for va vaginal, uh, face, and also body. As I say, the test that you can actually perform on these um, professional devices is the same, and you'll get the same result on vaginal cartridges, face cartridges, or body cartridges. 
Um, the difference is in body cartridges, the, the, the depth of this cartridge, of these um, perspex need to be much, much thicker. So they're normal, they, they are not normally performed, but they can be performed. But we'll leave you with this video. So as a reminder of the way these devices work, the professional hi devices work. And if you have any questions, by, by all means, feel free to get in touch. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, a clearance of two uh, millimeter apart, uh, a pitch which is the distance between uh, each line of two millimeter, um, a width of 10, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six lines. And I'm going to show you how the six lines are going to be reproduced on the piece of 4.5 perspex. Now, uh, what we'll notice is that the on the perspex, um, on the perspex. We're going to get the dents on the outside of the perspex and not on the on the part that touches the the, um, the head. So we're going to go ahead and place the uh, the gel on the on the head, and we're going to place the the perspex on top. The best possible way. I'm going to press on start, which is already there. I'm going to stop start, and I'm going to go and fire the shot. So you should see exactly what we see on the screen, but on the piece of perspex. So see whether I can actually replicate it. So if I actually remain still, you've got perfect line formed on the perspex. So, and this is exactly what we wanted to show you. Now, what we're going to do, uh, we're going to change the number of, uh, of lines and we're going to reduce them. And in order to reduce them, we're going to reduce the, the width. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, five lines. We're going to actually reduce it to a bit more. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to change the pitch. You're going to increase the pitch. We're going to get four. So now, see whether I've got enough ultrasound, ultrasonic gel in there. It should be fine. But if it's not enough, then we're not going to get a very good shot. But we're going to try it right now. So see whether we can replicate um, the four lines which we do expect. So we go ahead and press start. Actually, press stop in there, start. There we go, ahead. And this is a very good exercise uh, to show you the, the power of um, the professional HIFO. In this case, as you've seen, uh, we are able to cause a dense onto the perspex <coughs> and we're able to replicate <coughs> exactly what we have on the screen. And we can replicate exactly up to 16, uh, up to 11 lines, as you've seen. So this is a very good device and um, then uh, has got many other options but this is uh, the classic test that you perform on a piece of perspex um, to prove that it's functioning and is a professional HIFO device and this comes uh, as um, a standard with our uh, Areton multi-line HIFO so uh, and then if we touch on the other side here it's actually no sign of uh, the treatment of the um, of the dents, whereas the dents are on the part that are away from the uh, the head. So, if we actually have a look at in this way, the the lines are in there, not there where we place the place the head in here, and 
the, uh, the dents are on the other side as expected.